Good morning. Sorry about that. I, I kicked my garbage can and messed myself out. Let's do something simple today. What do you say? Let's paint a little turkey. Just for fun. It's not going to be too fancy, not too hard, kind of simple. Really easy to do. Now I just have a simple paintbrush. I have to make sure that's not one of my kids. Thank you very much. So let's get a big paintbrush. Oh, where is that big paintbrush? Oh, there it is. Again, we're just using the paints you can pick up at the Wally World or anywhere else. Just the, the cheapy ones, the craft paints, you know. But they work really well. I use them a lot. So we're adding a little bit of water. I have a fuzzy. Fuzzy. Should I have left them alone? Let them live there on my painting? We could have left that fuzzy on a painting. Now, I'm just adding a little bit of water. This is watercolor paper. This is the stuff that comes in the big pad and you just peel off a piece and all I have it do is tape to. All I do is tape it to a piece of well, cardboard. I use an old panel. It really, it's, it's an old painting um, that didn't come out so well, but the back of them is great. And I've used this a lot. As you can see, I make a pretty big mess. But the only reason I put a little water on here is just so my paper is not dry and it has a little ways to move. You can do this with any paper. You can do this with a cereal box. You can do this with anything you want. You take your cereal box, you eat your cereal. It's always good. And you take your cereal box apart and you have your mom or dad cut the sides apart so you have the big piece. And on the inside, you can paint. Trust me, I've done it a lot. So because we're doing a turkey, we're going to take some blue, just simple blue stuff, and we're going to put them up here. And we're just going to go back and forth. And that paint is just a light blue. It's nothing fancy. I'm going to put a little bit of water right here. And because this is paper, I can put a little bit more water on it. You could do this in watercolor too if you wanted to. I like watercolors. I like to play with them. My granddaughter and I play with watercolors a lot. And actually, I'm going to make this come down just like watercolor paint. We're just going to kind of wipe that off a little bit. And I just have a paper towel and a bowl of water. No, seriously, just a bowl. Nothing fancy, just got water in it. Just have some paper towels. And it'll have all the big expensive stuff. This is just a cheap paintbrush. And we're going to take the water and we're going to make the water go down. And we'll just bring that water and kind of go back and forth a little bit. And there, a little bit more water. And what do you think that looks pretty good doesn't it so now our turkey has a sky all right we've got a sky i'm gonna go just a little bit farther down just because i need to put a little bit more water on there and all i'm doing was dunking my brush in the water there if you want to blend more you can sorry i saw a little globby of paint we're gonna get that globby of paint off there. You know, I don't think we want globs of paint. No. And we'll just get that over there. What do you want? What? He says that I shouldn't put globs of paint. Why? Why not globs of paint? Oh, he says it takes a long time to dry. So, you know, I, I think he's right. You sure? All right, or can, I, can I finish that? Oh, you want to sit there and watch? Okay. So, alright. We've got the sky for our turkey. 
Now we need to put something on the bottom. I think because turkeys are brown. Can you sit down for one minute? No. You want to stand right here? Okay. No, you go right ahead. You stand right there. We'll just let him stand there for a minute. I forgot to get my brown. So we'll, well, I'm sure, what do we have? Brown. Let me get the brown I forgot to grab. Hopefully I don't unplug myself. I do that occasionally. There, I grabbed the brown. Just brown. Matter of fact, I gotta take the top off this one. Oh. Let's add a little brown. Now I have white. And I have some black. Well, it's a dark gray. And I have yellow and orange and light green and dark green and medium green and yellow and blue. So I've just got really simple colors. I don't have a lot of fancy colors today. But I'm going to take a little bit of white. Just a little bit. See, it's only a little bit. And we're going to spread this out right down here. You're probably asking right now, why is he putting white on there? I thought turkeys were brown. Well, turkey needs some place to sit. So let's give him some place to sit. Okay. That's just a little bit of white. You can kind of see it. Now I'm going to dunk into my brown. See, just in the corner. And we're going to put that brown right down here. Get a little bit more water. And we'll put this right in here. And just like that. See how I left it darker on the bottom and made it go lighter when I got farther up? And that's it. Instant background. Now our turkey has a place to sit. Now there's a bunch of ways you can do a turkey. You can take your hand and put your hand in there and draw your hand so you have the turkey's head and all those feathers. That's a great way to do it. I like doing it that way. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I have a thing called a pouncer. It's just a foam thingy. You can pick these up at the same place you pick up that paint. These are usually used for... <laughs> stuck my finger in my paint. You can... Normally for putting on stencils on walls and stuff, but these things are great for making snowmen, which we'll do pretty soon. We'll do some snowmen. Yeah, I know. Okay, I will fix that. Just, just sit up there and relax for a minute. You know, he's, he's all picky about stuff. He's like, you need to slow down, talk a little bit quieter, and relax. Well, I don't. So I'm going to take my pouncer. See? I made it brown. And all I'm going to do is pick a place for my turkey. Do we want one turkey or two turkeys? Let's start with one. And we're going to put the body of the turkey. Oh, oh, we've already got a turkey. What? Oh, sure. He says we need to have three turkeys. I don't know why. He just apparently likes three turkeys. Now, you can make these penguins if you want. If you don't want to do turkeys, make them penguins. Do that in a, a black or a gray. But there, now we have instant turkeys. That was easy. We need that button. You know the one that says, that was easy. Now I have to remember where I put that other paintbrush. It's right here someplace. Oh, this will do. Oh, I have to grab that other paintbrush because I want to make sure that I'm using the same kind of paintbrushes that everybody else has. Okay, we just got some of the paintbrushes from the paint set. Now we're going to take the white one. See, now we have a turkey. I'm going to get that a little bit wet. And while that is sitting there, let's put some turkey feet on him. Some turkey legs. See, we're just using the paint that's there. Oh, let me get my hands out of your way. And there's one turkey foot. 
Maybe I should make that turkey foot a little darker. Should we make what? Sure. Okay, we'll make the turkey foot orange. Why not? We can. Nobody says we can't. It's our turkey. We can do what we want. There we go. That one's got orange feet. I think because we have this pretty purpley red color sitting here, he should have red feet. And these are really simple. I mean, you can go and make all kinds of fancy feet if you want. I don't need to. Now I'm going to rinse that off. And let's... Let's make dark feet. Let's make him have dark feet. Maybe he's been playing in the mud. I'll give him some gray feet. Oh, they look like little uh, aliens. Oh, look at that. Now we already have aliens. We're all set. We're good to go. Now I'm going to take my brown. Remember how I said I had that dark blue in there? Well, I'm actually going to take my dark blue and my brown and put a little bit on my brush see just a little bit and i'm gonna mix those two colors together it's gonna give me this really muddy color really it's making a kind of a really neat looking brown for me see now it's just brown and i'm gonna take and pull this one just like that and same with him. And same with him. And that, I ran out of paint a little bit, is the turkey's neck. See? Turkey neck already done. Oh, okay. That was hard. Nope, not so much. Now, we're not going to put the head on yet. I know. You want to put that head on there. You gotta wait. Gotta wait a minute. Now, I have yellow, and I think today this turkey is going to be multiple colored feathers. So let's put some yellow, and these are really simple turkeys. And we're going to make them kind of, now let's make him different. He wants to be different. I know, you're different. I, different is good. I like different. People call me different. Because I like to paint all the time. Now, I'm going to put two orange ones in this one. One on each side. And we'll put a yellow one. And we're making it just a little bit bigger than the one that's right there. The reason I'm putting two is because, well, I need more feathers. And I need to make that one a little bit bigger. We don't make mistakes. We just painting. Such thing as a mistake. If you say, oh, I made a mistake. No, not really. You just created your own style. It's not a mistake. It's just a style decision. You know, it means uh, you do it the way you want to. Now I'm going to put this yellow one back in because I kind of... I bumped into it. So we'll put him back in here a little bit. There. There we go. We'll wipe that off. Now I'm going to go into my yellow again. And this time, I'm going to put it in that color that I made a turkey's head with. It's going to be weird looking. Weird is good. And we're going to put that color in here. Kind of like that. And we're just making colors as we go. The turkey doesn't care. Oh, we can make him flying, but we're probably going to make him sitting still. Now I'm going to grab some more of the orange. Maybe a little touch of the red. Sure. Let's put some red in there. Let's put some red right here. Oh, yeah, I know. We should put some here, too. We're almost there with that turkey's feathers. He's almost done. Wow, that was fast, wasn't it? That's a neat thing about turkeys. Their feathers are all over the place. And I know you can do the whole brown turkey thing if you want to. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to go back into that orange because I like orange. And they're very... 
Now the colors are like the colors of the leaves. I like leaves. I'm actually going to put one more feather down here. Just because I want it to be bigger. Now where the head is, I want to use yellow. And a little bit lighter colors like yellows. Because I want you to be able to see the head. So I'm just going to do a, a little bit of yellow right there. And I'm going to take my brown and put one little brown stripe in the middle of it. And maybe one right there. See? There, a feather. Piece of cake. Easy, easy. You know, just kind of maybe a little bit light brown. We're no, just maxing him up. And he's kind of a confused turkey today. Now we want the yellow near his head though. Just like that. Or just just painting it like that. It's good enough for a turkey. It's good enough for me. And we'll just do that. Do you want to add more? We can add more. Poofier? Sure, let's go with Poofier. Poofier? That's a that's a name. I know that's, maybe we'll call this one George. I don't know. Would you like to be George? Fred. Oh, he wants to be Fred. Well, we'll let him be Fred then. So let's put a little red down here. And there we go. A couple of turkeys. Now, because I want that yellow right there, I'm going to take a little bit of that red and just put it, just touch it. I'm just taking my paintbrush and touching. I was just touching the very end of it, way down here. We don't want to get it on my hand, though. Now, you can get paint on your fingers. It's not a big deal. As a matter of fact, you can even paint a turkey with your fingers if you wanted to. I'm probably not going today, only because I still have things I have to get done today. I gotta fix his foot. His foot forgot to be a foot. I don't know what he was thinking, but there's some turkeys. Now, I'm gonna grab white. I know turkeys' heads are usually these big, bright colors, but we're gonna make his head white. He's a big. Gobble, gobble. No, I don't think white worked. What color do we want? Do we want to go red? Ooh, could we go bright red? I think we should go bright red. So we're not worried about that. That's just white paint. So that'll disappear. Let's grab some bright red. I'm just rinsing off my brush. Let me unhook my cord from my... Oh, let's see. What do we have for bright, bright red? I'm sure we have some bright red in here. What do you think? Apple red? Sure. Let's go with apple red. If you want, we could even make it glow in the dark. That would be a weird turkey, wouldn't it? Hello, Mr. Turkey. Hi, I'm going in the dark. So let's go back to our yellow. What? No, I didn't mess up. Oh no, nobody cares. It's art. It, he's uh, he's an older turkey. You know, yeah, he, okay, okay, okay. Look, older turkey, he's got some gray hair. Yeah, okay, cool. And there's his friends. Uh, that's George, uh, that's Fred, and maybe that's Wilma. Wil Wilma, yeah. Yeah, Wilma. Okay, okay. He says he'll stay here and watch some more. So let's grab some red. And maybe make a little turkey head right there. That's just a dot. It's good enough for a turkey head. And this one's looking at him. So just a dot. And you're going to look the other way? Sure. And a little bit of a, see, just a dot. Turkeys. Gobble, gobble. Well, that wasn't hard, was it? Now, my turkey needs an eye. 
I'm just going to touch the white paint and I don't know. Let's put a white dot right there. And a white dot right there. And I'm just touching the paint. Whatever comes off, comes off. There we go. Turkeys, it is. Now, we don't know what these turkeys are doing. Do you think they're playing in leaves? Now, you see all these fancy colors that we have. Let's grab our paintbrush. And what do you think we should do? Should we dab it in some orange? Yep. Let's see. Let's put an orange dot there. Maybe one there. Oh, what do you think? Right in there? Boy, that's an awful lot of orange leaves dropping on the ground. And sure. Those look like orange leaves to me. Now I'm going to grab some of that red. We're going to dab some of this red in here too. So we just dab those in there. Sure. Should we put some brown ones? Maybe some yellow first? Yeah, let's go with yellow. Now I did not clean my brush. I put it right on the edge of my yellow. Not in the middle, just in case we still want to paint some yellow. And this one is going to be yellow and red and orange all in one. Now I have to rinse it off. We we'll just wiggle it in the water and wipe it on our paper towel. Now we go into the yellow. And let's dab there. And now we're into the music I listen to when I paint on my big channel. And it's just music. It's just, it relaxes me. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of the brown. And let's put a couple of little brown leaves in here because you know they do get brown sometimes. And maybe these are leaves. Maybe these are feathers from their other fronts. Yeah, those turkey friends. Now we just wiggle a line right across under his feet. Like that. So it looks like he's standing on something. A little line right there and a little line right there. We didn't even add any extra paint. We just made a line. See? Line under his feet. Line under his feet. Oh, wait. Her feet. Oh, get it right. Now we have turkeys standing there. There you go. If you want to make a tree. I think we'll make a tree today. We do have that brown. You remember that big paintbrush that we started with? That we were making the sky with? This one? Well, let's take the brown. And it needs to have a tree where everything fell down. So I turn my brush this way. Not this way, but this way. I stick it on here. And I turn it when I go down. So now it's flat. Yeah, that's how I do it. Relax. And then I take it. Instead of going like this, I turn it sideways. And I just set it down there and go like that. And I'll do the same thing on this side, way over here. And, and maybe right here. And up here. What do you think? Just do a couple little lines. Oop, that one didn't connect. And we'll do one little one right there. Looks like a tree to me. I'm going to grab a little bit more brown because I lost my brown down here. And we'll just kind of maybe look like that. Easy tree. Now, if you want, just because it'll be fun, we can go back to the little yellow paintbrush. And all these colors we threw down here. What do you think? Do you think we ought to just go up here and dab, 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 just for fun? Maybe we'll put some of those leaves back in there. Sure. And you don't have to think about where they go. Just kind of plop them in there. And don't worry about going off onto your tape or whatever you have there. This stuff cleans up with water. And if that doesn't work, grab a baby wipe. I know, baby wipes are great for cleaning paint. Now we don't want to paint on the walls or anything. 
because then it won't come off. We're going to put a little bit of red here and there just because. Now when I paint with my granddaughter, we put paper on the table. She's really good about not getting it everywhere, but she does get it on my table sometimes, and I don't get upset. It will come off with some baby wipes. Not a big deal. It's only a table. If you have a really old table your parents have from a long time ago, you probably want to paint on the kitchen floor. You know, with paper down. That way, you don't get anything on that fancy old table. It's just easier. There. Should we put some green leaves in there? How about some light green? I do have a little light green left. What do you think? One or two light green ones? These these are just saying, hey, I'm not ready to go for winter time yet. Oh, winter. Oh, cold. I like snow. I like building snowmen, so that's, that's why I like snow. So there you go. Three turkeys, a little bit of a tree. Nothing too hard to do. Next time, I'm going to show you how to use these pouncers again. Oop, forgot to rinse that one off. I do that occasionally. And then I leave all the paint on there and they become hard as a rock. And then I have to soak them. And... But next time, we're going to use two of them. Maybe even three if I can. I'll have to go buy a bigger one. And we're going to make snowmen with these. And I did a whole series of on my other channel for Mop Paint and Photo. That's a big people channel though. But there's a, a playlist called Snowman Series. And it's really cool. It's all about snowmen, including snow doggies and snowmen skating and all kinds of stuff. But remember, when you do your painting, you, this is a paint marker. But you can grab a magic marker and make sure you put your name in there. Well, that's right, Bruce. And I put a 2-2. Two -two because that tells me that it was made this year. So what do you think? Oh, don't turn your back to them. They're, they're talking to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got your bow tie all a mess. You're good. I know you have friends over there. He's got a lot of friends. He's got like five or six friends over there in the in the paint holder. What my brushes say they're kind of interesting people. So what do you think? You like it? Yeah, it's a pretty cool. All right, cool. Thanks. We'll see you next time. You enjoyed this? Okay. If you enjoy it, please hit that little subscribe button and. Tell your friends about us. We'll be doing some other stuff soon. Thank you all. And this is really how I talk. I am just quiet like that. But please enjoy your day. And be good to everybody. Much peace. Take care.